uh, we wouldn't be at case um, and not do the Michelson interferometer experiment. Um, as you probably know, uh, lots of things around campus are named after, after um, Michelson, and that's because he did some great experiments at case. So here, um, this thing is uh, the interferometer. I'm not going to touch it as much as I can because um, it gets misaligned and we don't want to have to reset it. Uh, so please also be careful when you come to lab not to bump the, the interferometer. So I'm starting out with um, laser here. So I have a source of light that passes through a lens and then it hits this um, lens, which we call a beam splitter. And as the name suggests, that beam will, that lens will uh, split the beam coming through this lens. And part of the beam will travel through and hit this mirror. Part of the beam will reflect and hit a mirror that's back here. Now the beam that traveled and that was refracted, reflected first will reflect back and go all the way through the beam splitter and hit that screen. The beam that was that originally passed all the way through the beam splitter will bounce from this mirror and come to the beam splitter and now get reflected. So each of the two beams will get one reflection and one transmission, but not at the same time. So when that happens, this beam will travel a different distance than this beam. And over here on the right, we have a micrometer. It um, turns and moves this mirror closer or further away from the beam splitter. And when we do that, we increase or decrease the distance that this beam travels to the, to the screen. When we do that, uh, light from the two different beams is going to interfere and we will see fringes on the paper over there. So watch what happens when I turn the micrometer. You see um, something very similar to ripples in the water when you're throwing a stone in the water. Um, and what you have to do for this experiment, you will have to um, count 50 fringes uh, that appear at the center there and go by and then uh, measure how much or record how much you turned the micrometer to know the path length difference between those two beams. Um, knowing those two quantities, um, then you can solve for the wavelength of this light.